All right, if you are watching this video right now, you've noticed two things. One, you're already in the city. So if you're watching this, that means you've joined the leaders group and hopefully you have joined your service team group or your gospel community group. Um, you should have received those invitations and the fact that you're watching this means you've at least received the invitation to the leaders group. So here you are. Uh, this is Pastor Paul Bokel. Obviously, you can see my face. It's very choppy. My computer is uh, being very slow today, so you'll just have to put up with that. You aren't going to have to look at my face for very long, so you can thank God for that. Um, I just want to say thank you all so much for your leadership and all that you're doing to help us uh, in every facet of what you do, but uh, specifically right now with helping get the city uh, implemented in our church. Thank you all so much for, for that, for the glory of God, uh, for the fame of Christ. Okay, um, what I want to do is kind of tell you something. We're going to try to do videos like this, specifically for the gospel community leaders, maybe weekly, bi-weekly coaching um, type videos. The quality hopefully will improve so that it doesn't look like an old Chinese movie where you hear the audio and then see the lips move, um, but we'll work on that. But for now, it's going to include all group leaders, all gospel community leaders, all service team leaders of any kind because we want to get you all introduced to the city and we want to focus these coaching sessions on how to properly use the city. So here's where we're headed today. The first thing, there we go. Number one, I want to review um, for some of you who were there Sunday morning in the group and for the, uh, for the city training and for those of you who weren't, this will kind of serve as an overview of just a few of the key things we talked about, some very basic things. Number two, I want to talk about how you can edit the settings of your group. And then third, I want to talk about how you can view, um, administrate, keep tabs on, and invite people, participants, into your group. So that's our plan today. Let's get to it. I'm going to pull up the city here. I'm going to go to the home screen. Anytime you want to go to the home screen, you can always just click on the logo up there at the top, and it'll take you to the home screen. So um, as a review... What we want to do first, now hold on a second here. I'm going to lose my face here for a second. There we go. Um, and so at any time, you can go to the home screen by clicking the logo. To the left, I'm moving the mouse in a circle. I'm going to be moving the mouse a lot just to kind of draw your eye to the different places. To the left, two important places are going to be groups and growth, groups and growth. Um, at any time, you can click the plus mark next to groups. You'll see all your options come up, your different groups that you're involved in, your gospel community groups, if you're on a service team. Redemption Church is the main group for everyone um, within the church. You'll see all those listed there to your left, and you can click to go to any specific group. Growth, you'll see several options. Journal, prayer list, service opportunities, stories. Stories are going to be opportunities to um, give testimonies about what God is doing. Prayer list will be a place where you can offer prayer requests, and you'll be able to limit those to just your group or um, let the whole um, church body look at them depending on how personal um, they might be. You can journal. That's a private option. You can journal uh, thoughts that you have um, there within the city. And then service opportunities is a good place to send members of your gospel community who might not be involved on a service team. You can send them the service opportunities. And uh, right now there's nothing there. But very soon we'll have opportunities for service listed under that button. So that's the left side. On the right you'll see your um, profile options right here and then at the very top the mouse is going around it this is how you access the help desk you can go to the help desk at any time you can ask a church leader that's this blue button for help that'll forward stuff on to me so that I can assist you in any way that you're needed or you can browse the city help um, resources they've got a lot of useful information um, for how to use the city that you can view um, right there so let's go back again to the profile and we want you guys to work on your profile. So up here on the right, it'll say, Welcome, Paul, View Profile. Click View Profile, and you'll see all of your stuff. And if you're logged in, you'll be able to edit all of those things. So get a picture on there. Um, that'll help you be identified um, better as a leader of a group. Um, and then edit this About section. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate. Just kind of say a few little things about who you are. And then you'll see down here to the left, Family. And you can edit that and add your... Uh, spouse or your kids or or anybody that's family you can add that on there secondly uh, skills down here to the left hit edit and you'll be able to add different skills that you offer this helps us uh, helps the leadership 
um, be able to find people who are, who are good at uh, specific things and get them plugged in that area. You see I have a long list of skills. Those are all lies. None of those are true, but uh, I just wanted to look extra uh, fancy and talented. So that's a quick overview. Now let's talk about your groups. So if you'll go over, you'll click uh, the plus next to groups, and you should see your gospel community group or your service, service team come up um, here. Just click on it. And as a leader of the group, and if you're not seeing all this stuff, contact me, and I'll make sure that you're in the leadership position, that you're marked leader of the group. Um, what I want to talk to you about today is up here in the gray bar where it says Bokel Gospel Community, or it will say the name of your group. Again, you could start a new post like we learned yesterday. You'll see all the options there, topic, event, prayer request, need, album, and uh, that stuff's pretty self-explanatory. We had fun with it yesterday, but that's how you can get conversations started or get prayer requests out there or schedule events in your gospel community group. And then you have these little buttons right here. These, uh, some of these are exclusive only to the leaders, so that's why I wanted to go over um, specifically two of them. Um, quickly, though, this is your email settings. If you ever want to change um, which emails you receive from new posts or just a daily digest from the group, if you have questions about what those mean, we can talk about them, but you can change your email settings um, there. You can look at the info about the group, just the name and the um, like mission and stuff of the group right there uh, next to this I in a circle, and these bar graphs will be statistics that is the, will judge group involvement or we'll uh, elaborate on group involvement and things like that. That's these bar graphs right here. But the two I want to talk about real quick, we're almost done here. Um, this is your tools, uh, your settings right here. Um, it's a hammer and a wrench. This is your group settings. If you click on that, you will see this uh, pop up, much like you edit your profile, um, your personal profile. You can edit your gospel community profile. Your gospel community is already named. Go ahead and leave that alone. But you need to change your group nickname down here. Ours is just Bokel. We chose to go with the last name of the leader of the group. But you can make that whatever you want. There's only one thing. It has to be all strung together. So if it's multiple words, no spaces, you have to string them all together. It's going to end up being your plaza URL. Don't worry about what that means. You'll find out about what that is later. But uh, again, uh, just make sure it's one word, all the letters strung together. It can be multiple words, but make sure they're all strung together, no spaces. You can add a description, what your group is all about. Um, add the ideal size, how many people you'd like to cap your group at. And then this custom message for new invitations. Um, you're going to want to write something in there possibly saying, please click the link below to join the city um, and join our gospel community group or write whatever you want there. And then every time you invite someone to the city, they'll receive that message um, along with that invite. So that's your name and your info. Your addresses up here at the top again, click the next tab. Um, you have a privacy setting for all the addresses. I would go ahead and switch that to members so that members of the group, and it'll be members only, but members of the group can see the address or addresses where you meet. So if you meet at different locations, um, put a location name on there, potentially probably just the name of the person whose home it is. Put the address in there and then hit update. You're always going to want to hit update every time or the settings will not save. You need to hit update every time or the settings will not save. So type in an address there, you know, jib, 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 um, whoever's it is, and then you're going to want to hit update at the bottom to save that. And then you can add extra addresses. I would put the addresses of every home you regularly meet in in there so that someone new to the group, instead of having to mail them directions, you can just say, hey, log on to the city, and you'll see a map, um, and you can click on that. I'll show you exactly where it is. So be sure you hit update, though. I'm not going to hit it because I don't want to save all this gibberish, but make sure you hit update anytime you change any of the settings. Next is options. You'll see that up here, and you're going to want to leave all the ones on the left unchecked, all the ones on the right checked, except in certain cases. If you want to be in complete control of the events, in the photographs that are posted to the group, then you'll want to uncheck these boxes so that you're the only one or whoever you list as a manager of the group or an administrator of the group are the only people who can control this. Um, for me, I trust everyone, uh, at least for now, so I'm going to leave them all checked. And again, if you change those settings, be sure to hit update. Tags is the last thing we're going to talk about in this area. Um, you're going to want to tag your group if it's kids for, kid friendly, if it's men only, if it's married, young couples, married, seasoned couples, that's just a polite way of saying 
um, old people, I guess. Um, do you have a meal? Things like that. What day do you meet and what time of day? Is it evening or morning, etc.? This way, when people are searching for a group or when leaders are trying to plug someone into a group, they'll be able to choose a group that lines up with their schedule and uh, the place that they're at in their life. You'll also see two other tabs up here, linked groups and promotions. We're not going to worry about those right now. We'll talk about those later. But again, hit update if you changed anything to make sure those settings are saved. I'm going to click up here to go back to the Bocal Gospel community, and we're almost done. There's a head and shoulders of two people right here. This is your button. You're going to click that. And once your group is filled, you will see all of your group members there in a list. You'll also see, are they a member of the church? See here, um, not a member yet. Faith actually is. I need to change that. But if someone is listed incorrectly, talk to one of your elders, and they can make sure that someone who is a member of Redemption Church has this. Again, that speaks of church membership. And then are they active? Are they, are they participating in the group? Now what you're going to want to do is be able to change a few things here. Most people are just going to have that participant tag next to them. You'll see if you click on that participant tag. But if you have someone who you're going to give administrative tasks within the group, then you can change that to manager. And that's going to give them some rights within the group to manage some of the things, um, to delete any post or add anything to events and things like that. And then always hit submit. Again, you're going to hit submit and it's going to make that change official for you. So that's how you deal with people who are already in the group. If someone ever leaves your group, you can hit the delete button, and you'll be prompted. So don't worry if you accidentally hit that. You can just hit cancel, and uh, they won't be deleted from the group, but you'll be asked to confirm. And if they have left your group, you can hit OK, and they will be deleted from the group. So lastly, you're wondering, how am I going to invite people into my group. Well, up here at the top of this list, you'll see invite someone new. And there's two ways to invite people in. If anyone, uh, if someone is already in the city, you'll just want to make sure that in the city is clicked up here at the top. If, um, Especially after the launch of the city, most of the people at Redemption Church will be in the city. Um, so all you'll have to do at that point is click down here, users by name. Start typing in. Let's type in Josh Perry here and you'll see him come right up. His picture appears right here. You would just click on that and it's automatically ready to send that invitation to him. You can write a new message in there or if you've written a default message, that default message will automatically appear in there. You'll then just hit send invitation. That invitation will be sent to him through the city. Now, for now, most of your gospel community group are not in the city. So this is how you're going to be inviting most of your members. You're going to click not in the city up here at the top. It will turn blue, and you will see a place to enter the person's email address. So just enter name at gmail.com or whatever it is, Yahoo, if they're a loser, just kidding. Um, but name at gmail.com, and then you can uh, just copy and paste that if you want into the confirm or write it again in the confirm area here. And again, add a message, or if you have a default message already ready, then that will appear in there. Then you'll send email invitation. You'll see an invitation sent up here at the top. It'll tell you that. And then you can scroll down and see who all your invitations have been sent to. If someone has not responded to an invitation for a week or so, you might want to hit resend and it'll take you to a dialog where you can uh, check resend and, uh, and invite them to the city once more. Um, or if the person, uh, if an invitation was sent by accident or an email address was wrong or someone has joined a different group and they no longer need that invitation sent out to them, you can hit retract at any time and it'll ask you, are you sure? Just hit OK and it will retract that invitation from the list. You'll see that it's gone. I have two of those, name at gmail.com. Retract both of them and they're gone just like that. Okay, so that's it for today. That's all we're going to focus on. Um, for now, this was a 14-minute video. I apologize. I really, really do. Most of these will be around five to seven minutes long. But again, there was a little bit more to cover today. So we're coming in around 14 and a half minutes. But thank you all so very much um, for checking this out and again for all that you are doing. So make sure you invite all the members of your group and get them in your group by March the 3rd. So if it's a service team or a gospel community group, make sure you get those invitations out by March the 3rd. We want to have everybody on board um, for our service teams and our gospel community groups by then. Thank you so very much. I'll talk to you all later. If you have any questions 
Uh, give me a call, 304-617-2448, or contact me through the city. Again, the number is 304-617-2448. Thanks so much.